But he is going to be met hard and met fast by number 31 of that defense, Daryl Green, a name that I have said again and again tonight. Daryl Green making a huge tackle. Welcome to 24 Hour Sports. You are now here with Daryl Green. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And today we're going over the trade we all seen last night. Christian McCaffrey to the 49ers. Now there's a couple things I want to get into with this trade. First thing I want to say, this trade is all indicative of Jimmy G. With Trey Lance, the offense was built in a different system and scheme than what we're seeing now with Jimmy G. Trey Lance has a better arm. Trey Lance is mobile. Jimmy G is not mobile. Jimmy G makes a lot of mistakes. You don't want to lean on him in the passing game. So now, with them seeing that, and going into my playoff video, which also recently just dropped. Don't forget to check it out. But going into that, I said the NFC is very weak. There's a lot of room for a team to sneak in to possibly the Super Bowl. There's a lot of room for that. Even though the Philadelphia Eagles are 6-0, I'm still not currently all the way sold on them. So with that being said, I think they're building a team around Jimmy G. And let's look at the scheme where they won with Jimmy G. They had running backs by committee. They ran the ball outside a lot. They threw a lot of screens. What does Christian McCaffrey do? Run outside well, catch the ball at an elite rate. So that added him. We're still going to see Jeffrey Wilson. We're still going to see Elijah Mitchell when he comes back. We're still going to see a little bit of Tevin Coleman. But now, adding him, Debo, Kittle, and IU, now you won't see defenses stack the box as much. Now you have the offense, and Kyle Shanahan can ski things up like he wants because he has the weapons that he wants now you can dictate how the defense plays against you you're dictating without christian mccaffrey the defense we've seen a lot of stack in the box we've seen a lot of everyone crashing inside stopping the inside run not a knock against jeffrey wilson but he doesn't have the burst and he has a completely different running style than Christian McCaffrey. Christian McCaffrey has game-breaking, breakaway speed. We don't see that with Jeffrey Wilson. And like I said, that's not a knock on him, but that's just different. That's why we could see them in a combo. When you want that short yardage, you get Jeffrey Wilson. When you want an explosive play, Christian McCaffrey. And you could also still mix Debo Samuel into that. But to go more into it, to let everybody see exactly what I'm talking about, we're going to roll the tape. All right, so to explain what I mean when I say Christian McCaffrey has that breakaway speed, he has that burst, I'm going to show you a play right here. This is a very good play that describes exactly what I'm talking about. We're going to see the burst. He's patient and he bursts. A lot of running backs don't have this skill. When Le'Veon Bell was playing for the Steelers, that's something that he did really well. Although he didn't possess the open field speed like a Christian McCaffrey, we see him patient, patient, burst. And now that's what we see with Christian McCaffrey. He gets the handoff, he's riding it, he's, he's reading it, he's looking at his blocks, and then I'm going to let it play full speed. I want you to see how he bursts. Do you see the difference right here between a, a average running back and an elite running back? It's burst. Look how he burst through that hole. That is different. That's something that he's going to add to that team. Something I've also been seeing the 49ers do a lot is run empty sets. They get Debo. They get all of those guys. They run five out. With Christian McCaffrey, what can you do? Five out. And that allows Jimmy G to, now he can pick. The defense has to pick their poison because especially if you man up, you know you got Kittle. You know you got Debo. And you already know you got another safety valve in Christian McCaffrey. Look at him. Where is he lined up right here? He's lined up on the outside. He catches the screen and look what he does in space. This is what he's going to add to that team. We see Debo do this, but outside of Debo, what other running back possesses this? Also, look how he... As a running back, you have to get the yards that are schemed for you. But elite running backs, they get more. They get more. You set the table, but then they also do more with the food. So let's look at it. He's supposed to be dead right here. Right here, he's supposed to be dead. But no, he spins out of that. He gains He gains five, seven more yards. Okay, so right here, we're going to see that full box. We're going to see them stacking the box against this 49ers formation. But what can Christian McCaffrey do? You give him the food, you give him the plate, and he does more. So now, look at this. I'm going to run a different play, again, where we see a stacked box. And I just want you to see the difference between Christian McCaffrey and the 49ers running backs. I'm going to let this play go in full speed. I'm just going to let everybody look at it. See, Christian McCaffrey, the difference that he possesses, what he's going to bring to this team, right here, right here, right here. Okay, so we see this gap right here on the outside. Christian McCaffrey, what he can do, he can jump cut this and then get upfield. 
That is the type of talent we have. He has elite footwork. He can cut so well, and that's what allows him to be special in that Carolina offense. Although Carolina didn't have a great offense, they had zone schemes, and what did Christian McCaffrey do? Jump cuts, a lot of jump cuts, making guys miss in bursts, and that's what we see. That's what we're not going to see right here, but I'm going to show a play where Christian McCaffrey does do something very different from other 49ers running backs. Okay, so right here, we got Tevin Coleman. A lot of people said Tevin Coleman struggled with his vision and I think he did I think he did especially in this game against the Falcons you know getting a couple touches and I just it wasn't a lot good to see he is a good running back and I know he's gonna watch the film and get better however we're gonna compare this play to what Christian McCaffrey does on a very similar play all right so let's look at it right here we have outside run I'm gonna let it play full speed first this is the outside toss and I feel he's not patient enough. He's not patient enough. He's not seeing what a lot of people are seeing right here. He is, he's cutting in right here. You have to be patient. You have to ride this out. Let number 60 get to his block, and then you cut that outside. Look at all that space to the outside. That corner is the last level of contain on the outside, and if you wait, let 60 make his block, you can bounce this outside. Now, let's look at what Christian McCaffrey does in a very similar sense. Okay, so right here, we're going to get Christian McCaffrey on a counter play. This is not the same exact scheme. However, it's going to be the same exact situation that he finds himself in. We're going to look at how Christian McCaffrey is different from from Tevin Coleman, and I'm gonna show it right here. Okay, so first we're gonna see the play in full speed. We see the play in full speed, but what I want you guys to focus on, look at the difference in his strides. This is not Christian McCaffrey full speed because he knows the tight end in front of him has to make his block. This is what differs. This is what he's gonna add to the team yet again. This is why they need Christian McCaffrey. Look how he allows 80 to make that block. Right here, he's just pacing. He's just pacing. That's not full speed Christian McCaffrey. He's just pacing right here. He's letting that block go, and then he's getting those yards, getting out of bounds. That is different. That's the patience that I'm talking about, to be able to get outside. He could have easily seen this guy coming right here and cut it back, and now he got a trailing defensive end hitting him in the side. But no, he didn't do that. He stayed patient. He stayed behind his blocker, and he let that block form, got a first down, got some extra yards. The choice is you can let the outside noise affect you or drive you. What's it gonna be? Don't give up. 